So now I'm going to show you how we can convert or simplify improper fractions into mixed numbers and what their relationship is. Now if I have the improper fraction of, um, what shall we do? Let's do 8 over 3. It's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. And sometimes we call improper fractions also top-heavy fractions. Top-heavy, yeah? the numerator is heavier, larger than the denominator. Okay. Now, 8 over 3, yeah? which means basically 8 divided by 3. Yeah? Now, if we talk about thirds, yeah? because these are thirds, how many do I have of those thirds? I have eight of them. I just want to show you uh, what we're actually talking about. Because, let's say these are pizzas. All right, let me just draw three pizzas. I love pizzas. <clears throat> and I'll divide each pizza into thirds, okay? And I'm just sketching that, but each part yeah, is equal in size. Now that is a horrible sketch, yeah? But just to get the idea, yeah, these are all thirds, okay? So I have um, a third over here, a third, a third. Yeah, these are all thirds. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I look at the top heavy fraction, the improper fraction of eight over three, eight thirds. So how many thirds do I have? Yeah, I have eight of them. And let's let me quickly shape that. That is one third, two thirds, three thirds, four, five, six thirds. 7 thirds, 8 thirds. Now, have a look now at my pizzas. How can I now turn my improper or top heavy fraction into a mixed number, eh, where a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction? Well, how many holes do I have? How many complete pizzas do I have? Well, I have one, two pizzas, eh, so I have two holes, yeah, and I still have a fraction of a pizza, and I have two thirds. Okay, so 8 over 3 equals 2, 2 over 3. 2, 2 over 3 is the mixed number that belongs to the top heavy, eight, top heavy fraction 8 over 3. Now, how can, you, um, how can you calculate that without having to draw pizzas all the time? Yeah? Well, you can have a look at 3. How many times does that fit into 8? Eh? Because it is 8 divided by 3. So how many whole times does 3 fit into 8? Well, you have 3, 6, 9. So 9 is too much. Eh? So it fits in twice. So I have two holes. Now what is my remainder yeah, when I take those two holes out? Yeah? So 3, 6. My remainder is 2. Yeah? Because 3 times 2 is 6, but I have 8 of them, so my remainder is 2, which I still have to divide by 3. So 8 over 3 equals 2, 2 over 3. Now, go to the next video for example questions. I'll see you there.